What's going on everyone? Dirty Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you how to hack Sakura Dungeon. I'm going to show you how to create some cheats for yourself in it. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is go to my website here, gamehacker.com. I'll have the link in the description below to this exact post. But you want to download this tool, RPA Extractor for Windows. So you scroll down in the post and here is the link. Click on it, download the tool to your desktop. Once you do that, open it and the uh, folder that's in there go ahead and drag that out onto your desktop all right so now that you've done that what you need to do is go to the folder where your game files are for sakura dungeon if you didn't get it from steam then wherever you installed it just go there if you did get it in steam what you can do is right click on sakura dungeon choose properties click the local files tab click browse local files and that will take you to that folder all right, so now that you're in there, what you want to do is go into the game folder where you'll see archive.rpa. Before continuing on, what you want to do is right click and copy and paste. So you want to create a copy of that archive. In case anything messes up with this, you won't screw up your game files. All right. Once you've done that, take your archive.rpa, drag it over here into RPA Extractor for Windows, and then you open that folder. Now what you want to do is run a command prompt from here. So you can hold shift, right click, and then choose open command window here. If that doesn't work, click the start button, type CMD, hit enter. And once you have this up, type CD desktop, and then CD RPA extractor for Windows. All right, and now you are in that directory there. Um, so what we want to do first is extract the files out of this archive. This is where all the game files are, the scripts, uh, artwork, music, everything, it's in there. We want to extract that stuff. So you want to type in RPA Extractor, and then you type dash X, and then archive.rpa, dash O, and let's call it Sakura uh, Dungeon Dump. So dash X stands for extract, dash O, is uh, basically where you want to output to. So now that we've done that, we go here to the folder, and now we can see all the game files that are in archive.rpa. And so what we're interested in for this particular tutorial is actors.tsv and items.tsv. So we want to copy those and paste them into this directory, or you could cut and paste either way. Okay, so now we're going to start with items.tsv. You want to right click on it. Down in the description, I have a link for this program, EM Editor. Um, once you open it with EM Editor, you'll see it's almost formatted all right. So, what you want to do is go to Edit, CSV, Tab Separated. And here we go. So, now you can see the column name for what each thing is. So, this is for each item, and this is the item cost for everything. So if we want, we can click on that there, hold shift, click here, type zero, and it changes every item cost to zero. And then what you can do is go file, save, close it. Okay, that was items.tsv. Now we want to do actors.tsv. So we'll open that with EM editor as well. We'll go edit, CSV, tab separated, close that. Okay, here's where you can modify the individual attributes for everyone. Yami, Sari, Charlotte, Isabella, like everyone, bunnies, boar, every enemy, bosses, you can edit all their stuff in here. Um, and so that cheat that we just did with the items, if you wanted to do it a different way, let's say you wanted to give yourself like, I don't know, a thousand mana shards whenever you kill something. Actually, let's make it even better. Let's go nine, 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 nine. Nine. One more nine. Why not? Um, so we're modifying the currency. You could modify your own level. Let's try to go to like 70. I think that's the max level for the boss, the sci-fi boss. Yep. And now we're going to go file, save, Okay, now that we've done that, what we need to do is get these two files into this archive here. Okay, so we extracted the files just so we could get a hold of these two files. Now we can put them right into this directory. So hopefully you didn't close your command prompt window. Um, what you want to do now is type RPA extractor. 
and you want to go dash D for delete. You want to specify where you want to delete something from. And then you want to delete the file actors.tsv. That's going to delete the one that's in the archive now, the games one. Now what you're going to do is hit the up key, which will show you that last line that you typed in. And instead of dash D, you do dash A, which will append to the archive our actors.tsv, the one that we see right here. Hit enter. Uh, why didn't that work? Hit enter. What is it doing? What if I try this? There we go. I just needed to be on the end of the line there. Okay. So we've done that with actors.tsv. Now we want to push up, up, and change actors to items. So we'll delete the items in the archive, and then we will append with our items.tsv here, hit enter, and there we go. Now what we should be able to do is take this archive, copy it back over to here in the game directory, and now let's try running the game. Um, and of note, if something doesn't change for you, you might need to start the game over. So if you try to continue, you might not have this work, so you'll have to start a new game perhaps. So I'm going to start a new game, go hard, alright, so I'm going to jump this whole thing here so that we can hurry up and, okay, so we'll go to the shop, that's the first thing we'll check, let's skip this, okay, we can see everything cost zero, so we know that items cheat worked, do you want to buy this, yes, we're going to buy a healing potion, and remember, we just started a game, so technically we shouldn't be able to do this. And we don't have any mana shards, so um, if you go to sell, of course, also items are equal to zero. So, But it doesn't matter, because they cost nothing. So we'll go to return. Um, we can right-click here and see that, yes, we do have those items. I'm going to use a healing potion, but I can't because she has max health. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the dungeon and we're gonna fight a bunny and see how many uh, mana shards that we receive. Okay, skip. All right, let's go here to battle. Okay, let's skip this. All right, so here we are at our first battle. Single slash, defeated. Wow, all right. All right, so there we go. Nine, 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 nine mana shards. All right, so, um, Herald. <laughs> All right, so let's skip that. And now that we can check our screen, we see that we have 99999 mana shards. Series level is 70, which I forgot I did that, so no wonder I one hit uh, the bunny there. So she's at level 70, her strength is off the charts. Um, but yeah, just, uh, Play around with those files. There's also a couple of other ones here. Let me quit the game. Yes. Go back into the file dump. There's levels.tsv and skills.tsv. So you can mess with all those and it would be the same exact thing that you did with the dash D, dash A, but you would use those different file names after you move them into this directory. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I've got more Sakura Dungeon coverage coming up soon. Um, I did a review for the game over on my Sneaky Mofo channel if you want to go check that out. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll just see you on the next video, alright? Take care.